The big story at five, the Kenosha County DA decides if a police officer should be charged in a deadly shooting. The shooting happened in Kenosha about a year ago. Yeah, today's decision, the DA is saying it was reasonable for the officer to use deadly force. Yona Gavino is live in Kenosha with this story. Yona. Yeah, Charles, that's absolutely correct. That was the district attorney's big announcement here that the officer actually did use necessary force. Now, Aaron Seiler's family, he was the victim who was, of course, shot and killed by that police officer. They were here. They were present. They didn't speak. However, when the district attorney made that announcement, they burst into tears. Now, for that family, the Seiler family, it's been an absolute roller coaster of emotions. Now, the Kenosha County District Attorney, Robert Zaff, says Aaron Seiler was holding a five gallon plastic bucket when he was shot and was baiting officer Pablo Torres to shoot him. That officer fired seven times. Six of those rounds hit Seiler. Now the DA also consulted with a deadly force expert who found that officer Torres' actions were justifiable. We were hoping for a different result. But our research about the expert hired in this case, Emmanuel Kappelson, shows that his bias is definitely with police officers and with shooters as opposed to the shooting victims. What is clear is that Sider was not going to give up and submit to the arrest. Sider was aggressive, confrontational, and threatening. He repeatedly was baiting Officer Torres to shoot him by saying, shoot me, shoot me, while all the time he was looking for an object or a weapon on the floor to use against Officer Torres. And we've also learned today that the Seiler family is indeed going to move forward with a civil lawsuit. And coming up on Live at 6, I'll tell you how that officer, Officer Pablo Torres, is doing today and if he has any plans to return back to the police department. For now, we're live in Kenosha. Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. Yona, we did hear from the family's lawyer, but bottom line here, what are they going to do about the DA's decision? Well, obviously, they're not buying it, not at all. And in fact, they believe that even if their loved one, Aaron Seiler, was indeed baiting Officer Pablo Torres to shoot him, to kill him, that still doesn't justify him actually having to do that, especially when it was revealed he was not armed with a firearm and was only holding a five-gallon plastic bucket. All right, Yona Gavino in Kenosha, thank you.